How do you think the end game does wind up? With- I think uh, – I don't know if it's going to be this year. And I, do, I do think they have one more in them. And I think the narrative then will be you people, or many of you, said that we were done, our relationship was done, and we came back and climbed the mountain one more time. I hope that happens, and I hope I'm, I'm there to write that story because I think it would be a great one. I could see Belichick at some point handing it over to Josh McDaniels. He convinced – McDaniels to stay and not take the head job with the Colts, and he certainly is ready for a second chance. Brady and McDaniels have a really good relationship. So if Belichick wins one more and breaks the tie with Vince Lombardi and decides to be the president of the Patriots or, or just to retire, I, I think that's a feasible scenario. But he's a young 66. As you know, he still has a lot of energy. He could coach another five, six, seven years, I think, if he wanted to. He still loves it to death. Well, one would think that the the way that he was uh, looking at Garoppolo, that he saw uh, another guy that he could win for 10, 15 more years with, right? Or, yeah. or, or somebody that he could coach for as long as he wanted to coach and then leave the situation in a very pro- prosperous way that his legacy would still grow with him no longer on the sidelines and he could have like a Coughlin role in a way, even though Coughlin was forced into that role because the Giants sent him packing. Right. So I guess the last question I have for you on this is everything that you gleaned about the Belichick-Brady relationship, the front office workings of the New England Patriots, all of this, you went back to deflate gate and uh, all the gates. You went through all the gates, okay? <laughs> is, is how do you think any of what you learned – relationship-wise, manifests itself in the win-loss column in 2018, and what happens uh, to see how, how does it manifest itself? Ian I, I, I don't think they're one and two because they had this thing and, and, and it carried into the offseason, and, and Brady thought of uh, walking away rather than playing for his head coach one more time. I actually don't think it's uh, related to their record right now. I actually think they're going to be three and two in two weeks, but uh, and then, as you pointed out, Edelman and Josh Gordon, and then I think things will be okay. Uh, I do think one thing. The way that Bill coached Tom for 18 years is part of the reason why they had that uh, breakdown in their relationship last year. It wore Brady out. But also, it's the reason why they have five rings, because everyone on that roster over time has seen how unforgiving uh, Belichick has been in his coaching of Brady, and that has impacted in a positive way the entire roster. They've been held accountable Brady at the top and everyone in, in the middle and at the bottom to the same degree, and that's the reason why they've won five, but it's also the reason why it wore Tom out last year. And, again, they barely survived it, and so we'll see now if they can get to six. I do think it'll happen in the next two, three years, and then I don't think they'll get to seven, but I, I do think they've got one more run in them. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.